first thing we need to do is download VirtualBox and we can do that from the website. Select Linux distributions and then select your Ubuntu version. We could do it this way, but we can also use the App Store, which is called Ubuntu Software. In the top left corner, you can search for VirtualBox and let's open it. Then we can hit the green install button, enter the password and wait for the installation to finish. All right, the next thing we need to do is install Vagrant. So let's go to the Vagrant website. So Vagrant is a management tool for VirtualBox and under the hood, Homestead uses Vagrant to manage your virtual machine. So let's go to the download page and here are a few commands that we need to paste into the terminal. So let's open the terminal on the left side of the screen and let's paste the first command and hit enter. And as you can see, we need to enter a password, but we also got an error message. Command curl not found. So first we need to install curl and we can do that with sudo apt install curl and then hit enter and confirm it with a yes. So now that curl has been installed, let's retry that first command. We get an okay, so we can continue with the second command which adds the vacant repository to our system. Let's do that right now. Let's paste it in and hit enter. And it says done. So let's continue with the last command, which will install vagrant. After the installation of VirtualBox and Vagrant, we can go to the Laravel Homestead documentation. And let's go to the installation section. To get started with Homestead, we need to clone this repository into our home directory. So let's copy this git clone command, go back to the terminal, and first let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's paste that command and clone Homestead. Let's go into that Homestead directory. And then we need to check out the release branch with git checkout release. Finally, we can initialize Homestead with this bash script. And let's see what's in this folder now. As you can see, we now have a homestead.yaml file. And this is the file with our Homestead configuration. So let's open it with nano to see what's in there. You can see the configuration of the virtual machine, the amount of memory and CPUs, and you can also specify a key to SSH into your virtual machine. We'll get to that in a minute. Then with the folder section, you can map your code folder into the virtual machine. And below that, you can list your websites. So here it's got the homestead.test site. And I'm going to change this location to code slash example app slash public. And you'll see why in a minute. Furthermore, you can list your databases and there are some feature flags to enable or disable MySQL and MariaDB and other features. And then there are services and ports, but we're just going to leave it like this. Let's save this file and exit nano. And let's create that code directory, which is going to hold all of our projects. So I'm going to CD out of this homestead directory and create the code directory. So this directory will be mounted into the virtual machine. To SSH into that machine, we need an SSH key, which we can generate with SSH keygen. Just confirm the default location and leave the passphrase empty by hitting enter twice. So everything is fine now. Let's go back into that homestead directory. And then we will enter vagrant up. So now it will download the prepackaged homestead box from the vagrant repository. And then it will boot up a new virtual machine, update everything, provision everything. And when that's done, we can SSH into that new virtual machine with Vagrant SSH. So now we are in the virtual machine and let's see what's in this home directory. You can find the code directory that we just created. And let's cd into that and create a new Laravel project called example app. 
just like I specified in the Homestead YAML file. So Composer is now installing all the dependencies, it's preparing the project, and then it says, application ready, build something amazing. Let's CD into our new Laravel project and take a look what's in there. You can see a fresh Laravel application and let's run the Laravel CLI with PHP Artisan. And this seems to work as well. Then one last thing we need to do is letting the Ubuntu host system know where to find our example app if we go to homestead.test in the browser. In the Laravel documentation, in the configuring Nginx sites, you will find a section called Homestead Resolution. And with this line, we can let the host know if you are looking for homestead.test, go to this IP address. This is the IP address of the virtual machine that we just booted up. So let's copy this line and let's go back into our terminal. And here you can see we are still in our virtual machine shell. So let's exit out of here. So now we are back at the host again and here we can edit the host file. I do this with nano, let's enter my password and then at the bottom of the file let's paste that line from the documentation. Then save the file and exit nano and then when we go to the browser and we open a new tab and navigate to homestead.test we get the new Laravel project that we just created and it's served by our virtual machine that we created with Laravel Homestead.